Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to place ads on WordPress website in 2024. So today, we're talking about a topic that's crucial for many website owners, which is how to place ads on your websites, which is WordPress in this case. So if you're looking to monetize your site or simply want to showcase relevant ads to your audience, you are in the right place. Stick around and I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of placing ads into your WordPress website. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brief browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. And of course, to get started with placing ads on your WordPress website, you first need to sign up for an ad network. Popular options will include like Google AdSense, Media.net, and Ezoic. Sorry. Of course, the most known is Google AdSense. So, but for you, you can use whatever of these three options. Of course, just go and create an account with the ad network of your choice and follow their approval process. Then. After your account is approved, you will receive an ad code from like the ad network. This code is what you will integrate into your WordPress site to display ads. Copy the ad code provided by the ad network in Google AdSense or like media.net or Azoic, uh, for example. And you can, of course, create an ad unit to get the ad code from there. Then for efficiently manage, of course, and insert ads into your WordPress site, you will want to use like an ad insertion plugin. There are several options, but for this tutorial, I'll use an ad inserter plugin. So we'll have to go into plugins. To do so, we'll have to go and open, of course, WordPress. So go in here and simply just type wordpress.com, hit the enter button, just log in into your account if you have an account. And of course, at the same time, I'll just go and open that. Uh, of course, if you have an account, so you will not find yourself in here if it's your first time, I'll just open that to show you. So as an example, you'll find yourself in here. Go and click at this top right corner, log in to log in at your account if you have one. If you don't, click on Get Started to create an account. If you're interested about the plans, they have, there is it. You can post the video and check it like it's all by your own. And you can read a lot of information from their website. So once you're logged in at your account, you'll find yourself on something like this. For me, I'll use this. So we'll have to go to plugins, go to this list panel, click on plugins or just have our plugins and click on add a new plugin. Once you do so, you'll find yourself in here. So basically in here, just go and click on this search plugin. And as we said, I will use insertion. So, okay, I'll have to add in. So insertion is the plugin that I will use, of course, to add my ad into the WordPress website. Of course, you can do that manually, but the plugin will make it easier for you. Of course, we have here several like plugins like this WP code, insert headers and footers plus custom code snipped WordPress code manager. We have this one, which is add inserter and add manager and AdSense ads. So for you, you can simply look for whatever suits you as an example. This has 2 million plus active installation. This have has like, as you can see, uh, 300 or 300,000 plus active installation. And as you can see, both of them has like five stars at their ranking. So choose whatever suits you. You can go and click on it as you can see and read the description of every one of them. See the installation, frequently asked question, change log, the screenshot of how uh, it will look like, as an example, in, um, inside the app or the plugin, sorry. And as you can see, how to insert your code in the header, body, footer, where you want to add your ads, of course. And you can just use this as an example. It will have the same thing, description, installation, frequently asked questions, change log, screenshots. So just do whatever suits you and see whatever you would like to work with and simply go and add it to your or install it, then you'll have to access it. For me, as an example, I use this WP code, which is the insert header. Of course, you can type just insertion and you'll find it, or just type WP code. Once it's installed, click on activate to activate it. Of course, as simple as that. So we'll have to wait a bit until it's out and activated. And as you can see, now a plugin is activated. So we'll have to go and down to look for it. As an example, so it should be yeah, this one, WP code light. So of course you'll be able to deactivate it here whenever you want. Here you'll be able to see the code snipped. Click on it, and as you can see here, completely disable comment, display message after the first paragraph of post, 
and you'll be of course to find your bulk action trash activates and deactivates whatever you want and uh, whatever you have of course what you will need to do is simply go and click on add a new once you click on add new as you can see you'll be able here to add your custom code new snips allow csv file upload and just add whatever you want for us of course we'll choose this add your custom code and here you'll have to enter the code that is provided but by the ad of course network that you choose either it's google adsense either as i said it's is media.net or is uh, either it's is is oic so as an example let me just uh, type in here uh, example of ad or ads code so just show you as an example so the code will be something like that what you'll need to do is simply go copy all that code as you can see this is uh, add code as you can see for non-personalized ads this is for personalized ad and this is uh, for uh, like auto ads so basically the code provided by the ad network that you choose just copy it copy it all as an example let's say it's this one go back in here paste that code in here as an example you can choose the insert mode is it like auto insert or short code whatever you want site uh, of course the location the site wide header uh, footer whatever you want uh, the site body whatever you want to have it on and of course you can unlock more features as you can see which is code revisions with pro if you want to go and get a plan as example if you click on here you'll be able to see the features that comes with the pro if you click on upgrade now let's see just the prices as you can see so you have those are the prices i guess this is yearly yeah so it's per year choose whatever suits you if you want to and simply once you finish all the changes of course you can fill, finish uh, or fill all the information needed then simply go and click on save snipped you can even turn on the test mode and see how it will look like before even added and of course you'll be able even to always update it before everything happens so you'll be able as i said to turn on this test mode and check it all before even you put it on your uh, website live to work and of course now you'll have to go like before even making your uh, ads live make it essential of course to test them so make sure to test it and once your ads are live monitor their performance many ads network provide analytics and insights into how your ads are performing so go back to your ad network and you'll be able to see those insights so there you have it you successfully learned how to place ads on wordpress websites in 2024 whether you're monetizing your site or promoting relevant content ads can enhance your website's overall experience so if you have any questions or there is a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section so and if you like of course this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one and i'll catch you in the next video